Hey gang, Bronco Carl 92 here. So this is our fourth and final installment of the 48RE upgrade and uh, rebuild series that I have for the 2006 Dodge Cummins uh, Ram 2500. So uh, in this video, um, I'm going to be putting the valve body into the transmission and buttoning things up. Um, I have installed a uh, modified pressure um, transducer and uh, regulator assembly. Uh, the valve body was reworked by TRE Diesel. And uh, that's pretty much it. So anyhow, uh, thanks for watching the series. And uh, what I'm probably going to do is take the, um, the four segments and put them together into one long video also. So anyhow, uh, enjoy. Okay, so before we can put the valve body in, we just have to make a quick modification to it. Um, the valve body actually was done over at uh, TRE Diesel, um, and I uh, just have to change the um, the pressure transducer and the pressure regulator over to the uh, upgraded BD parts. So here's the stronger pressure regulator, and then here's the upgraded pressure transducer. It's actually an older style. Um, and then we have a wiring harness adapter and a little clip to hold it in place. So seems pretty straightforward. You just have to remove this bracket here, uh, take these parts off, uh, clip. We have to clip this off so the uh, transducer sits in place and uh, put it back together. This has a little locking clip on it. Which I always get paranoid is going to break. Take that off. The BD kit came with a new gasket, but he put a new gasket on here at the diesel place, so I don't need to use that. So take that off. place. And we'll just fit this over here for now. And you just have to flip the connector over. It plugs right in. Very easy. I'll just let this sit here for a moment. I'm just going to go trim that off. That was easy. I have a metal shear, so um, almost forgot we got to put our little valve in. The clip holds it in place. Now I'm just going to leave these hand tight until I put the valve body in so everything is properly aligned. Take our connector, lock it in place. Well, that was kind of cool. <laughs> I guess there's a blank plug in here that decided to pop out. Alright, um, we have a filter adapter also for our 
double deep pan. Put that in place while we're here too. Lastly, we have some new O-rings for our connector here. You're probably wondering why I'm not replacing the, the two solenoids for the overdrive and for 3-4. They were actually replaced recently, so we'll leave them alone. Alright, let's go... Uh, Let's go bolt this baby up. Okay, so we have our valve body. And our park rod is in place already. And the best, the easiest way to put this thing in is to put it like this. sensor switch. Now our park rod is still down there and not in place but we're going to take care of that in a minute. I also should mention that uh, there is actually a new 3-4 accumulator spring that uh, TRE sent so get all of our bolts started. Nice to be in the home stretch on this one. So we've got three lengths of bolts. The long ones go up by our pressure regulator. There's the medium ones. It's kind of obvious where they go because the housing's higher. And then our shorties go here. Let's get this out of the way for now. Now I like to run these in with uh, with my T handle. Okay, now the valve body bolts are all um, 100 inch pounds or 12 newton meters. And the best thing to do when torquing these is torque them once. You start going around and you're going to start cranking the torque up and maybe have a problem. Okay. Just tighten 
these up. And these up. And tight's good. This should be all right like this. There's plenty of room in the pan anyway. Okay, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I have this I have this right here. This is called the Canadian Hockey Stick Tool. I got this one. I got a, a valve body from BD for my truck. Uh, and it actually holds this E-clip in it quite nicely. So when you're under the truck, it's really easy to do this. Um, with gravity this way, it might be a little bit more difficult. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the rod with a pair of pliers here. Okay, so we've got it hooked and in place. So I just need to hold it. Okay, so we have it hooked in place. Now we just take our hockey stick tool. it. Alright, so now we'll, uh, we'll stick our pan gasket in place. This is like a heavy duty paper gasket. You kind of need to use this with the with the BD aluminum oil pan. And we also have our, our old school filter. Not too crazy. Just make them good and tight. And there's our pan, which we put into place with no sealer. We'll stick the rest of the bolts on here and uh, put you back on in a few seconds. All right, so we've got our bolts all in place. Just use a speed wrench to snug them all down. I'm doing a uh, kind of like a cross pattern. Since it's so large, I'll torque them to fifteen foot 
pounds. Okay. Lastly, we need to uh, tighten the uh, reaction support bolts or pump bolts. Okay, so um, when we took the uh, overdrive housing apart, we actually snapped off a, um, a hardened Torx uh, bit in the end of the bolt, uh, which made it uh, kind of hard to uh, use the bolt over. So I had gotten some um, some replacement bolts from McMaster Car. They uh, they have a hex head instead of a, a Torx, but they'll work just fine. So I had to buy a box of 25, but it's only about 12 bucks. So I have uh, enough to do 11 more transmissions. We're done. All right, just in case there's any questions of uh, my transmission repair stand, um, the halo as I call it. Uh, basically made it out of some scrap I had laying around the shop. Um, this piece of angle iron was, was actually from my snow plow. Um, and I had some, some strip steel and another piece of angle iron, uh, some threaded rod that I had used on another project. So basically uh, two pieces of threaded rod, they go into some existing holes on the back of the, uh, the trans case. Um, and if you notice, I have uh, the bolts that go through here, and I also have these washers um, on here. The washers are actually for a smaller bell housing, so for like a, a V8 um, application. I did one of these uh, a few weeks ago for um, a, a, a 5.9 liter. It was like a 46RH, or excuse me, 46RE. So it's a pretty versatile uh, little bracket. Um, it's holds the transmission actually quite well. I think I'm going to actually lop these ends off so it's actually easier to roll over, but otherwise it works pretty well. So that's the halo. All right, as I said before, uh, this brings this series to a close. So as always, thanks for watching Bronco Carl 92, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Take care.